What the heck is going on guys? How's everybody today? We are back with another Summoner's War Chronicle video. Today we are going to be reviewing Annabelle and talking about whether she is worth buying the pass for or not. Before we get into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button, leave a comment down below if you are buying her. And with that being said, let's get into it. So where you can obtain her from is from the Summoner's Pass. So the very first reward you get if you buy... The summoner's pass is her straight up. They give you the 20 pieces or whatever. They let you summon her. However, if you're free to play, they also give you, let's see here, one, two, four. Four? four. I, I, th I thought they gave you five. It's probably five. I probably missed it. But either way, four or five. And then, so you can also keep your eye out if you go to this shop here. If you go to exchange pieces shop, you can kind of mm -hmm. check this every day or it's every eight hours, right? Every eight hours if you keep going back. So you can check this shop every day to see if pieces of her come up or multiple, like up to uh, up to three times a day if you check every eight hours. You can check to see if pieces of her come up. But anyway, let's get into it. So I do highly recommend buying her if you are going to spend money at all in this game. I think that this pass is very much worth it because not only do you get her um you also get all the other bonus rewards as well as this premium pass activated so on your six runs this to me is worth it just without any of the rewards but so on your six runs per day of your path of growth and on your three runs per day of your uh karyos you're gonna get double the rewards so i always make sure i run the highest possible level i can for my runes like i'll even play it because you end up getting four runes instead of two for the six runs. And then it says specific event awards times two, but I don't actually know. It's like the ones that the rice cake one or first. Oh, okay. Yeah, it yeah. gives you rice cakes for clearing uh, the path of growth. I think it just gives you double rice cakes. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. So very, very much worth it. And now what we've all been waiting for, let's go into her skills. All right, so her first skill here just deals attack. And then her uh, first skill is with the power of prayer, removes harmful effects on nearby allies and recovers their HP. The recovery amount is based on its own max HP. Awesome. So she is like a cleanser and also recovers with that skill. That's really good. And then uh, her skill three here, so summons a guardian angel to deal damage based on its max HP to enemies within an area three times. Each hit has a certain chance to apply death down. That is awesome. So not really a whole lot of damage here, though. Like, I guess if you, like, you want to definitely stack her max HP, she's going to be, like, one of those uh, triple energy. 5.6% <laughs> of max HP is pretty good, actually. Yep. So, and then her ultimate here, just the same as the third skill. Actually, I think the third skill, it only has three, right? So it's going to hit five times instead when you use it on the ultimate. And then here, her passive. So it says, help me, Teddy. So Teddy appears to remove all CC effects on itself and the target when the team member receives a CC effect. Remove all CC. Every two seconds, it looks like this is going to activate. However, it, it, if you put a CC on the target, right, it's going to do it? No, no, no. It's for your teammates. If one of your Teddy teammates get CC'd, it removes all but the CC effects on it. It says, Teddy appears to remove all CC effects on itself and the target when a team member receives a CC effect. Uh -huh. So if you have put CC effects on the boss, she's going to cleanse them off the boss. No. How not? Because she only does herself and the teammates. So when one of your teammates gets CC'd, she cleanses all the CC effects off herself and your teammate. So the target is your teammate? Yeah. Because the target, you would think, is like the person you're attacking, right? No, but yeah, I know what you mean. It, it's, I think it's from when they uh, translate it. They like f***ed it up? That like, because it, yeah, it should say removes all CC effects on itself and... The allied target. The team member. It doesn't even need to say target. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, true. You know? and the team member when they receive a CC effect or whatever. But it, either way. Yeah, sorry, we went on a little bit of a tangent there, but that is kind of confusing. So yeah, she is super, super awesome. So she's going to be a full team cleanse as well as she has this uh, passive that procs every two seconds that's going to remove uh, CC effects on your teammates as well, individually. I, I don't think that that's actually a cleanse, so the second skill. It just removes one harmful effect, right? Or the first skill. Yeah, it only removes one. Okay, Chet is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even if you have a two-dot um, 
one, it's only going to go down by a dot, right? Or is it going to completely remove it? No, if you have, like, a burn and an electric shock on you, it's only going to remove one of them. It doesn't matter what level they're at. It nope. could be, they could both be at level 10 and remove one of them. Okay, so that's still pretty good, though. Especially when you consider it with this passive here. Yes. So I definitely think she is beyond, beyond worth it. Because the passive's going to make sure that you don't have CC effects on you. And then her skill's going to remove the harmful effects like defense break, attack break, things like that. Yeah, the that important. Aren't, that aren't CC effects. So I think this this pass here, I think it's a, I think it was eleven ninety nine Canadian. I think it's like a $9 pack. Um, but there's lots of gold in here. These devil mons are amazing resources. Um, some five-star rainbow mons, which are actually valuable sort resources as well. And then here you can see, like, this is only five Breath of Life. It's going to be 50. Like, that's a big boost. And then again, you're going to just get more pieces of her as well. So you're going to get pretty close to being able to do your first uh, Awaken on her. Not quite. I think you're going to get, like, 11 pieces or something like that. But yeah, lots of gold, some mystical scrolls, stuff like that. Just some level up material, Breath of Life. But so I highly think this is worth it. And this quicker you can finish. So if you can make sure you do your daily challenges every single day, make sure you're doing all your weekly challenges and you finish this, it's going to oh, went all the way back to the beginning, but it's going to have a gold bank here for you at the end. Now the gold's not great. I think I only got like 65. I got, so, yeah, I got 61 K. That's not bad. Um, okay. And then another thing to note, um, is this event here, this mystical summon festival event is coming to an end, uh, in, Two days from now so when you see this video actually it's going to be only a day and uh the bunny one's coming to an end too i think it's only got a day left on it as well yep so make sure you go check all these events so you want to make sure you come here and see how close you are to the next reward and see if it's worth it for you to draw for that next reward so me and Chetta personally are saving scrolls for the next uh banner since they gave us the fire raven for free we didn't really feel like we wanted to pull on this banner but um we want to make sure we get these 6,000 crystals. So we are going to do a quick pull session here. I'm going to pull 30. Chad is going to pull, I think, 20. Yeah, I think I need 23 or something like that. So hopefully... Oh, you're just pulling them straight. Yeah, I guess no point in pulling them on the Raven banner since you're not going to get Oh, I should 200. have pulled it on the Raven banner. Yeah, because you're not going to get to 200. True. I guess that has the increased rate. It on. does. Actually I should have done it on the Raven banner. Huh. But see, I want to go towards this. Oh, you're... Okay. Yeah. It is a scroll. Okay. All right. Come on. But yeah, I definitely probably recommend doing it on the Raven. Oh, oh my god. It's light and dark. Come on. Please, please, please. Your cameo. I'll accept your, I accept your challenge. Trust me, I won't lose. Oh my god, she is so good. Is she? Yeah, you probably think you're going to reset your Naomi now, maybe. I don't have any reset shit left. You will, from Pillow. Oh, stupid Cortana. All right, so awesome. Wow, I got a nat 5. What you the heck? You needed to do another 10 too, right? Yeah. Another nat 5? That'd be f amazing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. oh. Still awesome. All right, so let's do Cheddar's summons. Hopefully he can get as lucky as me. So he has 23 pulls. I got a nat 5 in my 30. So let's see. I'm so due to. So do you actually had a really bad session last time. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. A four star at least. Stupid elephant. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This one's the one. That's how you got yours, it was the second pull. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're legendary. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's gonna be one of these three for sure. Nope. We're gonna do Skippy's. Skippy's always gets it. Oof! Uh, All right. Oh well, this is what, this is what really matters. You get your ba boom. All right. We appreciate you guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Really pushing that subscribe. We are closing in on 500. We would love for you to be one of them, and we will catch you guys in the next one.